Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for a UML class diagram. We are discussing the example Banking System Class Diagram. So my dear students, in the previous lectures, we had discussed class diagram as well as the relationships. A class diagram shows a set of classes, interfaces and collaborations with their relationships. And the most common diagram found in a modeling of object-oriented system is a class diagram and the class diagram represents the static design view of a system. So my dear students, in the last lecture we had discussed the relationships associated with a class diagram. Those relationships are inheritance, association, aggregation and composition and we had also discussed the multiplicity factor associated with this relationship. Those multiplicity factors are 0 to 1, a specific range, 0 to many, 1 to many, and specific number range starting from a number to an ending number. So my dear students, let us discuss our example. We are considering a banking system. Firstly, we are considering a class called bank and this class is represented with the class name bank with the attributes code as well as name. The code and name are both strings and there is a prefix symbol minus which represents the code as well as the name is a private data. So this is an access specifier that is a private data access specifier. This private data means this data can be accessed by the members of this class as well as the classes deriving from this base class. And we can see three different methods associated with this class called bank. Those methods are add branch of, remove branch of as well as control branches of. These three methods are public data methods. That is, these methods can be accessed throughout the lifetime of the program. So next we are dealing with the second class the second class is a branch so the class name branch is mentioned in the topmost sector of the class representation or the class symbol so as we mentioned a class diagram has a representation of a rectangular box with three compartments the topmost compartment represents the class name the middle compartment represents the attributes associated with this class and the final or the last compartment represents the methods or functions associated with this class. So secondly, we are considering our class branch. The branch is the class name. Thus, the class name branch is represented in the topmost sector. The middle sector or the middle range is mentioning the attributes. Here, the branch has two attributes. The branch attributes are branch code and address both of these attributes are string that is it is represented as string branch code as well as string address both of these attributes are private data that's why we are mentioning a minus sign before the attribute name and the third or the last compartment of the branch class has the methods associated with this class we can see three different methods and these three methods are public that is why we are mentioning the symbol plus so here the methods are managers of add account of and remove account of three of these methods are public data methods so next we are mentioning the relationship between these two classes the bank as well as the branch class the relationship composition that is a bank is the composition of different branches for example if we are considering the branch south indian bank this south indian bank has different branches the one branch may be in Kollam, another branch may be in Kotiyam, another branch may be in Trivandrum, Ernagulam or something else. So a bank has different branches. That is, a bank is the composition of different branches. This is the relationship between the bank class as well as the branch class. So next, we are representing the multiplicity of this association or relationship. So one bank has many branches that's why we are numbering this factor or the multiplicity factor between the bank as well as the branch class 
here the representation of one in the side of the bank means one bank has many branches that is many is represented by star symbol so next we are moving to another class we are mentioning the third class our third class name is accounts that's why we had mentioned the class name accounts in the top most section of the rectangle and the class name is accounts here we can see four different attributes those attributes are customer id details type and region and here also we can see a method and that the method name is create transaction of here the attributes are all private attributes as well as the method is a public method that is we had mentioned the private attributes as minus sign prefix and the plus sign before the method mentions this as a public method so the relationship between the account and a branch is accounts are the aggregation of branches as well as one branch may have zero to many accounts so the relationship and the multiplicity between the account and the branch is mentioned with the relationship aggregation and the multiplicity factor is one branch has zero to many accounts so next we are dealing with the fourth class a fourth class is an atm class the class name is atm that's why we are mentioning the name atm or the class name atm in the topmost sector of the class rectangle and the second compartment comprises of the attributes of the atm those attributes are location and managed by both of these attributes are private attributes and we can see a public method transaction of the relationship between the atm and other classes is mentioned with the relationship aggregation between the class branch and atm here one branch may have zero to many atms so the atm class is related with the branch class with the relationship aggregation and the relationship has a multiplicity factor of zero to many or simply we can read it as one branch may have zero to many atms associated next we are dealing with another two classes these classes are savings account and current accounts the savings account and the current account has the attributes account number as well as balance and both of these classes has the public methods transaction of so next we are dealing with how these classes that is the savings account class and the current account class is associated with the account class these two classes that is a savings account and the current account class is associated with the account class with the relationship inheritance that is savings account inherits all the features of the account class similarly current account class inherits all the features of account class that is the savings account has the attributes account number and balance also it inherit all the attributes of the account class that is customer id detail type and region these four attributes of account class are private attributes thus these attributes can be used by the account class as well as the derived class savings as well as the current account so both of these classes are deriving the features or the private features from the account class similarly these two classes has its own attributes so now we can tell that the account class is a parent class and the savings account and the current account classes are the child classes of the parent class so finally we are mentioning our another class our another class is a customer class and the customer class has three different attributes all these attributes are private attributes these attributes are name address and account number and we can see two public methods those methods are transaction as well as update details of next we are dealing with the relationship of the customer class the customer class is related with the savings account class and the current account class the relationship is one customer may have zero to one savings account or one customer may have zero to one current account 
that is we are mentioning the multiplicity with a specific range here the relationship is one customer may have zero to one savings account or one customer may have zero to one current account so my dear student this is how we are representing a class diagram related to a particular scenario here in this example we had discussed the class diagram for the banking transactions so simply we had represented the class diagram with seven different classes those classes are bank branch account atm savings account current account and customer and we had mentioned the different relationships like inheritance aggregation and composition and we had also mentioned the multiplicity factor associated with this particular example so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question our question is draw the uml class diagram for the atm transaction so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss one more example relating with the uml class diagram so dear students see you soon in the upcoming lecture we will discuss another example relating the class diagram see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best